The Assassination of Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen by Scott Selvage, 1999. scenario uh, that I had a long time ago in my life. I mean, uh, okay, it's that uh, I'm a little in love with someone. I know. Um, I know. I know that I'm not. I'm still in the days of... <laughs> I'm still in the days of... So many times that I wish that I had a load of spray tan for the last 14 years, you know, just to disguise myself. When we were dating, we had a couple of hours of freedom every day. And we realized it wasn't enough. And so we figured we're never going to be spontaneous. It's not in our personalities. That's what dating is for. It's like daydreaming. We should get back to that. Look at all these things. Mary Kate and Ashley. They have the best in them all, as if they're born for the office of the presidency. So here they come to Washington, those two. You can't give them child-sized pillows. I get tired of these soulless times. Just turn up the radio, Kim, please. Thank you. So, a little bit about the context of that particular monologue. Uh, the uh, speaking character, Victoria, is in the back of a Chevrolet Suburban, um, driven by her sister, Kim. And uh, she's watching a uh, in uh, an in dash uh, VCR of Full House. Uh, she has just exited an abusive relationship, and she's kind of ruminating over it. Um, it's been stewing for the last near decade, and excuse me, uh, almost two decades. And uh, she and her sister are on their way to Washington D.C. Um, but uh, through this trip, over the, the course of the play, uh, Victoria uh, develops a plot uh, to murder the, uh, the two uh, twin stars of this show, Full House, uh, that we all know and love. Thank you.